think that's the artist of the week. Happy to disappoint you. Who is the artist of the week today? Um, it's a certain gentleman whom I used to know many years ago, a comedian, You don't know actor. him anymore? Ah, well, I begin to wonder, because I've not seen him in about 30 years. Mm. So, um, Rossi. <laughs> Pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> Benga or Lion Cat the third. I didn't come. Just pray for me. Pray for me. See, this one that you've lost me in a while, you've forgotten my name. I need prayer. <laughs> but I, I was just saying that I saw you last in 1444. Uh, which century was that? That was just before Lord Lugard which Lord decided. Lord <laughs> 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 he he that before he, whether he or not he was going to come be, to the before, world. Before before he decided to come to, uh, before he decided to be born to come to Africa. <laughs> oh, okay. That was the last time I saw you. He was not born at that time nah, yet. Nah, 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 on nah. that trip. Nah. On the birth on which he made the trip. <laughs> Even <Even> young. <laughs> you are confusing me. No, I want to confuse your confusion. <laughs> <laughs> the third. Good to see you. It's, it's always my pleasure to to be here. I've been here once, I think, with you. And the other studio. The other studio. Yes, and, yes. And it's always a pleasure. That was uh, about 50 years ago. Mm, 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 mm. Not 1444. Before the amalgamation. Ben <laughs> <laughs> you are the most traveled Nigerian that I know. <laughs> ah. Okay, let me tell you why I travel. It's a hunger-inspired project. You know, uh, my, my mother would say that, Eliton shishe oti jewu. Kaba wa so elito joko so joko. I'll translate that to English. The, the person that is working, that is working hard, hardly finds it, um, hardly finds something to eat. Not to talk of the person sitting there in one place and expecting manna to fall from heaven. So one so, of the things I learned from um, my mother is the value of hard work. Manna used to fall in those days. It doesn't, it doesn't fall anymore. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. What manna, today, what, the only manna you see is the manna of... What manna of... Manna? What manna of hunger <laughs> will you go through? <laughs> so, well, the inspiration... I, I, I have to say this to you. We haven't seen it in a while, but I have to say this to you. Um... Your industry is felt more in urban Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, Abuja. Abuja, those major cities in the, in the country. But you tend to take it to those, con those communities, I would say, where people hardly would be able to afford to see a Benga Day in Kao on stage mm -hmm. or an AY on any stage. So I have to say kudos to you for that. Thank you very Taking, much. I mean, it's, it's pretty much... It, whatever inspired it, call it hunger, but I would say fate because the kind, the, the, the quantum of depression that has been diffused as a result of those things, I just wonder. I said Mr. Depression came to Nigeria. He became depressed. Eh? Mr. Depression will go for it. <laughs> came to Nigeria, he became depressed. Mm -hmm. See, I, I keep telling people that thank God for for entertainment, football, Nollywood movies, uh, comedy, sports and all that. I, I, I can't imagine what it would be like if, if we didn't have all that gingering us. And most importantly, thank God for social media. Because a lot of things that should have resulted into a lot of brouhaha end up being laughed over, you know? Uh, I was telling somebody, I guess this is why uh, the person that wrote the national anthem knew things were going to be a little bit tough like this before it gets better. That's why I ended it with, so help me God. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> the national pledge. The national pledge, sorry. <laughs> you, you, you know, it's, it's sometimes you, you just want to go crazy. Then you see something that makes you just laugh or just say, whoa. I can't come and go and kill myself. Me only one of my I cannot come and go and die. You know, so it's, but Nigeria, like I always tell everybody, is the best country in the world. Mm. 
Say, you can say that again. Whether you like it or not. Mm. It's, only, it's only in Nigeria you can wake up with one naira in your pocket and sleep in Bologna. It's only in Nigeria you can wake up not knowing what to eat and you, you get up, you go to like 35 Wambes <laughs> and you pack their rice and take home. <laughs> For a number of days. <laughs> For a number of days, you know. <laughs> so, like, Nigeria is just unique. We're just different. That's why my, my trade thrives in this country. You know, it's interesting you talk about depression and uh, how even depression was frustrated. I, I saw something on someone's uh, WhatsApp status, and it made me go look at suicide figures. The top 10 figures of uh, the most societal nations in the world, Nigeria is not there. It can be there. The least so suicidal nations in the world, Nigeria is not there. I, I can't be I'm there. wondering, <laughs> so where are we? It's, that's not to say things aren't getting, you See, know. Things are not as rosy as we want, want it to be. But I tell you something. I, I had a joke back in the days about... Um, um, someone coming to try to recruit people to be suicide bombers in Nigeria. And the last guy he met said, me, I will carry a bomb. He said, yes. I will kill myself. He mm. said, yes. I will die. He said, yes. <laughs> die, die, die. He <laughs> said, yes. Hey, by me, by me, I <laughs> then he went to, he went to the, to the north. He said, Kai, I give you, but Kai, I kill myself? Say yes. Who, who, you give me money? He say yes. Who will go show for the money? <laughs> exactly. Right? Good question. Good question. Then he now went to the east and said, I'll give you a bomb. You kill yourself. You kill a lot of people. They will give your family the money. The guy said, no, I have a better idea. You say there's a bomb. He say yes. There's money. He say yes. You, you give me the money. You give me the bomb. They give my family the money. He says, and I have a better suggestion. <laughs> Why don't we give the bomb to my family? <laughs> <laughs> Let them give, kill me the money. Them give me the money. <laughs> but I, I don't know. <laughs> we, we have a few cases here and there, here and there. But I doubt that the average Nigerian would want to kill himself. But then things are tough. We, Let's we talk, have talk, to understand that. Tell yeah. us about, you know, first of all, what's the... That, 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 that's your laugh out. Laugh matters. Laugh matters in the various cities. How many cities do you cover? Come okay, uh, yearly we do five cities. Okay. What, what brought it about? Simple. Um, I, I realized about 12, 13 years ago that everybody must have a legacy when you're dead and gone. Some, you must be remembered for something. And I felt just being popular in Lagos, I'd, I'd had the, the good fortune of working all over the nation, the 36 states of Nigeria. And I kept, something kept dragging at my heart, asking me, what would you be remembered for? What would you be remembered for? And that was the era of, area, area, worry, worry, you know, for worry. So I decided, why don't I build the comedy sector in this part of the divide? So we started the Laugh Matters Southwest Comedy Tour with Donna Belkuta, uh, okay, we first start, we, yearly we start in Ibado, from Ibado, we move to Oshogbo, we move to Adoe Kiti, we've done Ijebu, we close in Abe Okuta, but this year we're having what we call Lagos at last, <laughs> after donkey years, we're doing Lagos, but what, what, I wanted a platform that would give young generals the opportunity to grow. The, I, I've always believed that you don't necessarily have to come to Lagos to be big. And 12 years down the line, I dare say that we've built so many generals and they, they are comfortable in their skin. They are comfortable walking where they are. In fact, a few of them are coming to have their shows in Lagos now and go back. Dr. Smile had a show a couple of days ago, some other people. So for me, it was a desire to build another segment of the industry mm -hmm. and I think 12 years down the line God has been good to us yeah but, but, but Benga are those generals getting enough to sustain themselves in those localities you'll be surprised you know 
what what we what I started doing was taking premium quality entertainment the way it was with all the lights and all that. The first two years it was like I was crazy because we were not making money. But you see, people followed. And my philosophy is if you keep hitting your head against the wall, even the whole, the wall one day will say, We'll make this guy no go kill himself on my neck. May May I I just break. <laughs> May I May I just fall leave on my bed, I beg, I beg. <laughs> so I think with consistency we will get there. You might not make as much as people in Lagos will make, okay. but you are not you don't have the same overhead yeah. as people in Lagos. Yeah. So it's yeah. like I'm a banker in a bank in Lagos, I'm getting the same salary in Abe Okuta or Ilori or Ushobo. I'm living like a king. Let me let me sure. provoke you. If you provoke me, we go fight too. No, no, no. Okay, not be that provocation. Wait, if I okay. provoke you, you will be provoked. <laughs> okay. <Simple. laughs> I, it, I, I have been very curious. You have traveled across Nigeria, as you have said. How about the North? What's comedy like in the North? I, I, I hear some snippets of comedy from uh, about Northerners, and it's very, very exciting for me. You know, comedy is very, very, very rich in the North. But you see, we all have our cultural differences, mm. uh, our, unique, our unique cultures. Um, then security has also done a lot of this favor mm -hmm. to the to events generally in the north. You generally won't find people sitting now, but there are amazing comedians from the north. There is um, um, there is uh, the guy who, pre who behaves like the president, yes. uh, MC oh, okay. Tuaguay. There is my brother who is always in a lot of the commercials. Skits. Okay. You know, we have people in skits. If you see the skits coming out of the north. But you see, one thing we have to get right, I, I, I keep telling my colleagues that one thing we should always preach is for peace and unity in Nigeria because we are the first victims of disunity, insecurity, and all that. Because, like they say in local palace, now who chop belly full or who they safe? Go come talk, say, you won't come watch your show. You know? So, if things are safe, if things are sound, you'll be surprised. In the east, in the north, in the mid belt. I don't, they don't call it middle belt anymore. It's, mid, uh, it's mm -hmm. north central. North central. Please, north and central. No, 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 no. North north central. It's not north. No, 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 no. No, no, It's a long horse. No. Wow. Yes. Ah. So, so, you know, by, by the time we can get a semblance of peace, You'll be surprised, and it's not just the comedy industry. You'll be surprised how vibrant the spirit of the Nigerian is. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised at what innovation will come out of this country. Benga, I have noticed that there are a lot of comedians around now. It's like uh, they're, they're just crawling out of the woodwork. <laughs> Um, and I know that you older comedians have done a lot to encourage these young ones to come on board mm -hmm. and sometimes you actually give up jobs so that they can get jobs. Mm -hmm. Is there really enough job to go around? <sighs> there are over 200 million people, I'm told. In Lagos, I'm told we're about 21 million people. Mm -hmm. Let's do a lot of average. Um, if 1%, if of 21 million people get married on a Saturday, there's enough job to go around. <laughs> All you just have to do- 1% of 21 million. <laughs> is just be faithful to your art. I tell, I tell my younger colleagues, be faithful to your arts. Okay, back in the days, if I come across, I say, ah, I'm a comedian, oh, please. If there's any opportunity for me to showcase what I have, I'll mm. really appreciate it. Mm. But now the, the, the refrain is, ah, pros, I'm a comedian, no, I beg, if any show they would if you pay your guy, oh, I know my, your guy broke, oh, that is the, that's the kind of mindset we have now. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, don't chase the money. If you keep chasing the money, you keep chasing. Chase your art, money will chase you. Says, I understand that. Money is chasing you now. 
Ah, no, I'm Sa saying. Says the man who said he, he was he had a hunger inspired project. Yes, yeah, so hunger. You. No, but the truth of it is that. <laughs> no, of course you, I understand what you're saying. Uh, if you Just... put money first, more often than not, mm. than not rather, you would um, end up. Disappoint. Just, dis just you get disappointed. Yeah. We have about thirty seconds or so to go. What's next to be expected from Bengali in the first? He will play. He will plans to fail. He will fails to plan. Plans to fail. I have a couple of projects like the Lagos at last. I told you we have to conclude the tour in Abeokuta in October. We call October and October to remember. But by and large, I am looking at a situation where. You know, every time we use comedy as as an attachment, I'm looking at mm -hmm. us having a comedy TV station, a comedy radio station. There's Comedy Central. There is um, 32 FM in Ibadan. Who says God can do it? Mm. That's a question. I asked you a question. You <laughs> use a question to answer it. I'm a Yoruba man mm. now. <laughs> mm. Well, it's Benga a day no, no, no answer question with question. <laughs> uh, <Oludu>. <laughs> <laughs> Find X and you circle it. <laughs> <laughs> CX. Yeah. CX up here. Now. Okay. Who will define me that? Max is another issue for another day. I, I would have said that, Jopu, but we have only 30 seconds. <laughs> we have to thank you very much for being here today. Benga a Inka, comedian, actor, writer, and... Grand comedian, no, 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 comedian of the Federal Republic. Grand comedian. Grand comedian ah, of, Nigeria. Of, of Nigeria. My book is almost ready. I will invite you for the GCON. For the lunch. Yes. GCON. Okay. CFR. And That's GCON. what I told the president when last I saw him. That the reason they invited me for this job is because they know that only a GCON can stand and face a GCFR. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, I said, hey, John Torio, long. Now play with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Vega, for being here. Okay, me. and that's Thank our you. show for today. Thank you very much for staying with us. Hope you enjoyed yourself and hope that we shall see you. No, hope that you shall see us again <laughs> next week when we bring you a fresh edition. I'm Alero Edu. Bye-bye. Stay true to you. I'm Ayo Makine. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend.